Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit today about just an element of this cold approach stuff. I've, I've been talking about this a lot the last few weeks, and I wanted to tackle another piece of why I think this is so important, like why I think it's so vital and crucial for you to get good at approaching women in a real world, everyday, daylight hours sort of setting because I, I sincerely 110% believe this is going to be more fruitful for you if you can get good at doing this stuff as opposed to when you're going out on a Friday night, Saturday night, even Sunday afternoon, even a Thursday night, like any night actually that you're going out to a bar or a club or some sort of setting like that. And I want to detail a little bit about why that is. In my eyes, the biggest reason why I think that you're kind of wasting your time in a bar or a club has a lot to do with the reason that girls go out in the very first place. And this is just, honestly, take this with a grain of sand. You can believe this or not. I mean, I've, I've affirmed this with like many of my friends that are girls and I've, I've witnessed this like time and time again in my life. And I, I, I believe there is undeniable evidence to support my claim. And you can make your own decision and you can do your own research and do your own statistical whatever. But, um, believe me from a statistical standpoint, I have put years in like just going out on weekend nights, like trying to be productive with meeting people and, and, um, pursuing dating and relationships and all this kind of stuff. And like that has not in anywhere near the same amount, let's say of, uh, of numbers, let's say produced like good positive results. And, and like I said, I'm, I'm kind of beating around the bush here. I want to talk about that direction, but excuse me directly. I want to talk about that. But the, the reason that girls go out generally is they are just going out to have a good time and be with their friends and dance and like socialize and have a conversation with their girlfriends and bitch about their week and talk shit about their other friends and like talk crap about guys and whatever the fuck they talk about. I have no fucking idea. Doesn't fucking matter. But like that's the reason girls go out. They go out to just to like hang out with their friends. Like that's the fact. They go out to dance, they go out to feel they want to get dressed up and look good and get a little attention and, and you know be around their girlfriends and blah 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 blah. That's the reality. That's why they go out. And that what you need to realize is a very stark contrast to like what most of us guys, like the reason that we go out, right, is very different. The reason you get dressed up and like put your good clothes on and get a haircut the day or the day of and like put your cologne on and do all your shit to like make you look good. Like you go out explicitly with the reason of meeting women and don't, don't try to deny this. Like you're lying to yourself. You're deceiving yourself. You're any man listening out there. Like you're full of shit. If you just say like, Oh, I'm just going out on a Friday or Saturday night. Cause I want to hang with my boys and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's 99% of you out there is not doing that. You're going out because you want to meet women. And I guarantee fucking to you, if I was to say to you right now, like, you know, let's just forget all about women. And I'm like, hey, man, here's a 12 pack of beer and an Xbox. And like, we could just play video games and get drunk all fucking night. I guarantee you nine out of 10 of you guys would be like, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd just rather not have to take a shower and get off my couch. And I'd rather just sit here and catch a buzz and play some video games or do whatever the fuck it is you want to do. Play poker with your buddies. Like that's what you would prefer to do. Right. But it takes that effort for you to like, get ready, get dressed, go out, catch a cab downtown, like be out, spend a fuck ton of money, by the way. Like you do this like willingly, like you almost like you probably, you probably have admitted this to yourself that you're going to go out and just like you, you've factored this into your monthly budget that you've got to spend X amount of money and X amount of dollars every week as you got to go out because like you are there to meet girls, right? I hope I've driven the point home and I don't mean to be harsh. And I don't mean to like beat anybody up and like, don't, don't get me wrong. I've been this guy 
for like most of all of my life. Like, you know, I'm almost 40. Like I've done it all. I've seen it all. I've, I've been there, done that, all this kind of bullshit. But it's like, I just hope I'm, I'm painting a picture of the very big difference about why men go out and why women go out. And there's a very, like, the, the the priorities don't align, okay? We're not all on the same page. We're not all out trying to do the same thing, right? So with that being said, let's take it a step further and let's just, like, think about, like, when you're out in that bar and you're out, like, you're drinking, you're, like, trying to get a foothold in with some girl that you're attracted to, you're trying to make a conversation, you're trying to make something happen, like, 99% of the time, nine times out of the 10, like, you are just bothering her. You're just, like, you know... She just dare to do something different than what you're there to do, and your your um, your interests don't align. You're not on the same page. Like you're there to do your different things, and because of that, you are just hitting brick wall after brick wall. And don't get me wrong; every once in a while, you might get quote unquote lucky. You might have something that hits. You might just have some chick that, for some god on no reason, she just she's into you. She likes what she sees. Like she whatever. Like who the fuck knows? But like. You know, if you're listening to this out there right now, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit yourself. Don't don't try to fucking like skirt around the issue. Like you know exactly what I'm saying is fact. Okay. So all that I'm trying to, to get you guys to do is to just realize like this is the reality. This is how it is, like in general. So with that being said, let's think about how we can approach this in a little bit little bit different of fa- of a fashion right like i've i'm just hitting this stuff so hard it's like i'm trying to get you to take all of your focus out of trying to meet women in bars and clubs and in the weekend after dark scene and i want you to focus it on the real world every day daylight hours normal non-threatening outside the loud music outside the influence of the friend circle that she's hanging out with outside of all these other factors like it just you're potentially alone completely alone with only her and only you when you approach a woman in a real world every day daylight hour setting i guarantee you like your odds are a thousand and one fifty thousand hundred thousand million times better of actually like getting some sort of productivity out of that sort of approach and that sort of situation than they're ever going to be in a bar just bar none and yes this takes a little bit of time it takes a little bit of getting used to it takes some work it takes some like skill to um to develop right it it takes a little bit of time it's a learning curve right i'm not saying you're going to be able to go out there tomorrow and just talk to women in an everyday scenario it's a very It's a very like nerve wracking, anxiety causing sort of thing for some reason. But that's all of us. It's all all men everywhere on the on the face of the on the face of the earth have have been at that point. Have started out that at that point. But I'm just trying to like I want to crack your head out of your thinking that like you're going to go out to a bar and meet and have productivity. Let's say with a bunch of women because like you're not. Like, take the focus out of that. Take your money out of that situation. Stop spending your time, your effort, your everything, your energy, your mental, your emotional, your your all that you got to give. Like, stop pouring it in there on the weekend after dark. And I want you to really listen to what I'm saying. And, like, take that same energy that you would otherwise use in the bar on a Friday night and focus it between let's say Monday and Thursday afternoon before the sun goes down and see what happens in your life and like try to do what I'm saying. I've hit this so many times on my channel. I'm going to keep talking about this stuff because I believe in it so, so much. You've got to get good sooner in your life at approaching women in real world, everyday daylight, daylight hours, sorts of settings. If you're going to to find the productivity and the the uh, return on your investment, let's say, and just like general happiness, I think, then you're ever, ever going to find in a bar and a club on a weeknight after the sun goes down. So, all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We'll talk to you soon.